I am crucified with Christ, yet I live no longer I, but Christ lives in me. I live by faith in the Son of God, who has loved me and given himself up for me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Today is Saturday, October 17th, the Memorial of St. Ignatius of Antioch. The readings and prayers for today will come from the memorial. And Mass this morning is offered for the repose of the soul of Amy McMillan. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who adorned the sacred body of your Church with the confession of holy martyrs, grant, we pray, that just as the glorious passion of St. Ignatius of Antioch, which we celebrate today, brought him eternal splendor, so it may be for us unending protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Join with others in being imitators of me, brothers and sisters, and observe those who thus conduct themselves according to the model you have in us. For many, as I have often told you, and now tell you even in tears, conduct themselves as enemies of the cross of Christ. Their end is destruction, their God is their stomach, their glory is their shame. And their minds are occupied with earthly things, but our citizenship is in heaven, and from it we also await a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. He will change our lowly body to conform with his glorified body by the power that enables him also to bring all things into subjection to himself. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, whom I love and long for, my joy and crown, in this way stand firm in the Lord, beloved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord delivered me from all my fears. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall ever be in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress he saved him. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. The Lord delivered me from all my fears. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed is the man who perseveres in temptation. For when he has been proved, he will receive the crown of life. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, 
Amen, amen, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. Whoever loves his life loses it, and whoever hates his life in this world will preserve it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there also will my servant be. The Father will honor whoever serves me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, first things first, welcome to the basement uh, where I am in quarantine for another 11 or 12 days. I can't remember. I am feeling healthy. I am asymptomatic. My one and only test has come back negative, and now we're just waiting to see. Certainly encourage your prayers uh, for the other person who has tested positive and with whom I had exposure on Monday. We're going to do our best to continue to bring you masses here from the basement. Uh, and as I've communicated in some of our email communications, we're very blessed this weekend to have great coverage at our Sunday Masses, uh, Saturday evening Vigil Mass with Father Evan Koop, and then both of our Sunday morning Masses with Archbishop Hebda. So please uh, attend as you're able. Uh, for those of you not able to attend in person, I'll do one of these live from the basement on Sunday morning for our live stream. Okay. Well, today, October 17th, we celebrate in honor St. Ignatius of Antioch, who's one of the early fathers of the church. He was a bishop. He was a martyr. He was a man who expressed this great longing for union with Christ and life in him. Ignatius was born in Syria in the middle of the first century, and he's said to have been personally instructed by St. John the Apostle, which is very cool. And he became Bishop of Antioch around the year 70. Antioch, a very important city in early Christianity, the place where Christians were first called Christians. And Ignatius led as bishop there during a time of Roman persecution under the emperor Trajan. And under his rule, Christians were liable to death uh, for denying the pagan gods and for refusing to participate in pagan ceremonies. Uh, and so it was this during this time, uh, during this reign of Trajan, that Ignatius was convicted for his Christian testimony and sent from Syria to Rome to meet his death. And on his way there, thanks be to God, he was able to write several letters which still exist to this day. Uh, letters that are very important in the life of the church, giving us some insight into the structure of the early church, the hierarchy, uh, the importance of bishops, for example. Uh, but even more impressive, uh, just manifesting Ignatius' own desire to join in the sufferings of Christ uh, and to give his life as an offering. He shows this enthusiastic embrace, we might say, of martyrdom. Uh, here's one example of that. He writes, All the pleasures of the world and all the kingdoms of this earth shall profit me nothing. It is better for me to die on behalf of Jesus Christ than to reign over all the ends of the earth. Right, this beautiful desire to be a witness to the suffering and love of Jesus Christ in the world, seeing it as even more uh, important, more beneficial than all the rule, all the possessions of the world. Ignatius bore witness to Christ for the last time in Rome at the Flavian Amphitheater, where he was mauled to death by lions. And on his way there, even, we see uh, his desire. He says, I am the wheat of the Lord. I must be ground by the teeth of these beasts to be made the pure bread of Christ. Soon after his death, uh, even by the year 107, his remains uh, were venerated and he was held up and honored 
just as we hold him up and honor him today. In our first reading today, for this memorial, St. Paul uh, urges strongly those Philippians to stand firm in the Lord. To stand firmly in the Lord. Firmly in the Lord, confident of the Lord's power to transform them into glory. To stand firmly in the Lord rather than to waver, rather than to sway, rather than to stand in other things and make of themselves enemies of the cross of Christ. We can see by the testimony of his life that Ignatius was one who stood firmly in the Lord, who embraced the cross of Christ, who was confident that the Lord would bring him to glory, that being ground like wheat in the mouth of those beasts would make him into the pure bread, would transform him even into Christ. And he was able to stand firmly then in Christ despite chains, despite torture, despite his certain death. And as we do when we celebrate the martyrs, we might use this as a day when we ask the Lord to strengthen us to do the same, to give us the strength that we need to stand firmly in him, despite whatever trials and temptations we face, whatever tempts us to stray from the Lord, to stand firmly, firmly in other things to conduct ourselves as enemies of the cross of Christ. Maybe that's comfort. Maybe it's status. Maybe it's possessions. Maybe it's power. Maybe it's pleasure. All sorts of things that threaten to pull us from standing firmly in Christ. We pray today, especially through the intercession of St. Ignatius of Antioch, for whatever heavenly help we need to stand firmly in the Lord, even to the point of losing our lives in this world so that we might preserve them for life eternal. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this oblation and our homage be pleasing to you, O Lord, just as you accepted St. Ignatius, the wheat of Christ, made pure bread through his martyrdom and passion, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. 
In your mercy you give ardor to their faith. To their endurance you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration. And we, with all the host of angels, cry out. And without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Bernard, our Bishop, and Andrew, his assistant, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants. And all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you, for them we offer you the sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls and hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmas, and Damian, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands. And once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance 
and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing through Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace, through Christ our Lord. Amen. To us also, your servants, who those sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon, through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
I am the wheat of Christ, to be ground by the teeth of beasts, that I may be found to be pure bread. Let us pray. May the heavenly bread we have received, O Lord, on the feast day of St. Ignatius, renew us, we pray, and make us Christians in name and in deed. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Paul, pray for us. Saint Ignatius of Antioch, pray for us. Praise be Jesus Christ, now and forever.